Oh, there you go. I'm Landon here from Zero Grid. I just thought I'd run you through a, a, a relatively common problem and, and it also highlights the importance of having, uh, especially with lithium, but that them to be set up well. So um, this customer has come to me and he's saying um, that uh, the, there's two issues. One, that he feels like his batteries are going flat way before they, they should. So he's got 750 amp hours of lithium. So he's got three of these you know really quite big big batteries and um so it feels like they're going quick quite uh, flat quite quickly and also that it's um displaying 70 percent full when it's when it's shutting down so so there's there's two two separate problems and and it's and it's all to do with um being set up well but um i'll show you something that i've found and i've, I've had a quick look here already so um, so this is um, what you get when you download the um, information for the inverter. So under this tab, charger. So this was my first, um, you know, sign of of you know thing, things aren't quite that flash. So um, I've downloaded the manual for the batteries. These are all Spark um, batteries from the guys in, in Off Road Living, and um, they they look like a great battery, and they're. Um, a great bunch of guys too and over in WA and um, so what I'm looking for is is these settings here so every battery is going to be slightly different and and I'll show you the importance of um, getting these numbers spot on so I, I generally lean towards that the higher end when they're recommending a, a voltage and the reason behind that is that th this is the the curve of of, of a lithium battery so think about it of like um, you know like a drill you know like your Makita your Roby whatever you got your, your battery drill and it, it just goes flat out and then you, you for me like it's like oh it sounds like it might be going flat and then it's flat there's that split second between like flat out and flat so normal batteries have a curve not normal lead acid batteries have a curve that are a bit more like this so that's meant to be a straight line so like that so you, it'll just be this continuation of like getting flatter getting flatter but lithium say they, they're really quite constant as you can see and then they drop off so the difference between like um you know it, it could be 0.1 or 0.2 of a volt and and you could be here at, at 95 and then if it's like um you know 0.1 of a volt and it, it could be like um 80 70 percent 80 percent or something like that just from having that 0.1 of a volt difference so then like every time it's plugged in it's thinking or all the solar chargers it's thinking that it's getting up to um, the solar charger stops here and and we're not getting that full capacity out of the battery and and um some batteries as well and, and i'm not sure with these i haven't done enough homework on them but but some of them they only um balance internally the cells at you know in those higher like 10 or 5 percent so if we're not hitting those, those those numbers we're not balancing internally so the the batteries are made up with internal cells like think of them as like d-sized batteries if you like or, or or whatever you want but you know like all, all stacked together and they need to be at a, a very similar amount so then they're equally discharging so so that's really important so that and that's why these settings are important to get right so um i'll go back to here so um this is the settings and and this is um you know how how it's been set up for this gentleman that's, that's having problems and see this like the absorption voltage so that's that's 14.2 is is what that was set at which is which is way too low so like um you know like that that's down here somewhere so like we might only be hitting you know 90 95 percent so this is um cell cell voltages so this is where they're made up with um, multiple cells I, I just wanted to to show that as a in a cell um, level to to explain the importance of that I suppose so um, so like you know this this gentleman he might only be getting ninety percent of his seven hundred and fifty amp hours so that'll be seven fifty divide a hundred times ninety it's probably easier ways to do that six hundred and seventy five amp hours of capacity so like you know he's he's um missing out on um i guess that's 75 amp hours to be 10 percent of of um of that so um yeah like which is you know much not not ideal but and and the batteries might not be hitting that real happy stage as well so um something that um i'm helping him out with is is to change this ab absorption voltage that so that one will be 
14.6 will go on that on the higher end of that and then the float voltage will go will go to 13 point 13 point8. So um, the way uh, the, the charges work, and, and think of it as a water tank, that it'll be squeezing it in, squeezing it in, squeezing it in at that, um, at that flow rate, which is the 14.6. The, the and then once it sort of recognizes that, you know, not much is going in, and that's when it'll re relax down to the float stage, that 13.8. That so um, think of voltage as pressure, if you like. So that's how, that's how much pressure it's got to go in. And then, and then that 13.8 is where it'll be, um, relaxed. So, so yeah, that's, a um, a, a, um, you know, a, a key thing to be set up well. And, and the other thing that, um, he's having trouble with is these, um, um, battery capacity, not reading true and, the, the way to do that is to, to th there's two factors to that. And, and this being the first factor is if we're not getting it to a hundred percent, that battery monitors, um, not going to be, to be reading right either. That's going to be thinking the batteries are full, but really they're at 85, 90%. So now that we've got this set, right, the, the process to get that, um, battery monitor to read, right, is he's going to plug it in. He's going to leave it for you know, eight hours, 10 hours, something like that, because then that's going to get right up to that absorption voltage and then it's going to relax down to that float voltage to get that battery right in its sweet spot. So it's going to make sure that it's, um, you know, the, at, at a true 100% and then we're going to go in and calibrate the, the shunt. So a shunt is basically a flow meter. It's um, it's just a mathematical equation of like, it's, it's set at 750 amp hours. This is going to be bad for my maths. And if it uses 150 amp hours, that'll drop by, is that 30%? Not sure. Can't wait that out. So, and then it'll read 70%. So that's, that, that's, that's all a shunt is doing. It's measuring the amount of power flowing through and it measures both ways. So then it'll measure the amount of power going back in to, to have that guesstimation. And, and that's why I personally, I, I really like the managed batteries that, communicate with the battery internally to, to know the percentage. Um, but you know, the unmanaged batteries like, like this one, it, it um, you know, that, um, battery capacity is only as good as the, the input and the settings of it. So, so yeah, that's the, um, importance of, of doing that. So, so that's, um, hopefully going to, um, fix the, the, problems of his battery monitor not reading the, the right voltage, uh, the right capacity rather. So, so yeah, hopefully this has helped someone and um, just always refer to your battery manufacturer to what, what they recommend. So um, it's, um, these guys have done a great job and um, yeah, they've, they've got it um, easy to easy to find. So, and they're all gonna be slightly different. So yeah, hope this has helped someone and um, have fun with your off-grid adventures. Cheers guys.